Back Mark, and, you know, uh, a year ago you stood in this place, and I think in your opening address uh, you said excited about 15 times in a uh, uh, nine-minute uh, interview. Uh, what is your mindset this year? Is it very similar to, to yeah. months ago, or has it changed at all? No, 100. percent We got we got some new guys, which is different. You know, a lot of new faces. So that's that's obviously exciting, and. You know, obviously saw some friends go, which is always tough. Um, you know, but that's the that's the nature of the business. But you know, it's it's great to just get on the ice. Uh, you know, you feel like the last couple of weeks you're just kind of waiting for this day. So, um, you know, it was awesome to get on the ice and have a good practice, and um, it was awesome. From your perspective, Mark, I mean, you know, this is the 13th year that you've got a contract in the NHL, but the first that you're going in not knowing what the next year is going to look like. Uh, how much time have you given to? Considering that and preparing for that this uh, off season, honestly, not a whole lot. Like you know, it's another another hockey season. I'm a hockey player. I love love the game. I love to skate. I love to you know get ready and and, and improve on my game. So you know, it was the same same as always. What's the the next deal? Honestly, it's not really on my mind. It's not really not really. Uh, you know, I have I have one year left on my deal, and I'm you know I'm here to focus on this team and, and you know helping this team succeed and. And you know that's my really my own focus. Can you see a future together beyond this year with the Jets? Yeah, for sure. I you know I've told them I'm open to open to staying, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely open to, to staying here. I'm, I've been a Winnipeg Jet for yeah, thir- this is my 13th camp, so it's been it's been a long time, and you know enjoyed every day of it, and you know I'm definitely open to staying. What instructions have you given your agent about talks with the team? You know there haven't really been any any talks at all, so just being a hockey player. There was a lot of speculation throughout the year that you wouldn't be here, uh, that you'd be on another team by this point. Was there a time during the summer that you thought that your days as a Winnipeg Jet would have been over? Honestly, I just kind of you know let my agent handle all that. You know, I just uh, go about my summer and golf and work out and skate and you know whatever happens happens. You know, I I, I trust in my in my representatives and um, you know trust in the team and just go out and do my job. Potentially resign here in Winnipeg. You know, I think it's it's too much to speculate. Um, you know, we don't know anything that's happened. There's a, there's a lot of guys in the same situation as me, and you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate. I'm not. I, you know, all I can do is control what I can control, and that's you know, going out every day and giving it my all and working my hardest and, and working on my game and improving, and that's all I'm gonna do. Sorry, maybe I should rephrase that. What's important to you in considering potentially resigning? You know, obviously, I want to win. You know, I'm a competitor. I want to. I want to win a Stanley Cup. That's, you know, that's everyone's goal is to is to, you know, win a Stanley Cup. And you know, that that never changes. Mark, is is the book open? You know, some guys don't want to talk about it once the the season starts. Uh, uh, but is that something that you would uh, instruct your representatives to leave open dialogue throughout the year? You know, it's it's uh, you know, I just I just let my agents handle that and let the you know that's up to you know them and Chevy and my job is to play hockey and. Work on my game and, and try to succeed with the, the Winnipeg Jets, and you know that's the you know that's my thought process here. So yeah, so it's not like though I don't want to be bugged once the season starts. That conversation hasn't taken. No, that that's not that's not in my mind at all. It's just I'm I'm going to be a hockey player, and you know the the business side of it is isn't isn't my uh, isn't in my realm of expertise. Is the mindset change though? Our big you losses. Are- they were you know you know big big voices. You know, obviously tremendous players, and and wish them all the luck. Uh, you know, with their new teams, but we got some. We got some new guys. Um, you know, got to skate with them a few times over the last number of days, and you know, they look great. Um, you know, they're hardworking. They're they're. You know, it's exciting. You know, it's still it's still tough. It's the first day, so you know, you're not really sure. No, you don't, won't know till probably game one of the season. But um, you know, it's exciting, of course. What is that like? This is your first camp that Blake hasn't been here, and you guys were obviously line mates and friends and all that. So, is there a different feeling to a camp without Blake Wheeler? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, you know, he was our captain. You know, he uh, he was he was the heart and soul of this team. You know, the amount of you know broken bones he played with. You know, the amount of amazing amazing plays he made. You know, for the team and for us. You know, he was a he was a warrior through and through. And you know, obviously, it's 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 tough to not have him here. But you know, like I said before, it's the nature of the beast. And 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 you know, hope he you know has an amazing year in New York. And um, you know, wish him all the luck. You know, talk to him here and there as well. So um, you know, obviously, it's going to be it's going to be different. He's a you know, obviously a good friend and. Like I said, just wish him, wish him the best. Another thing, that's, you, sorry, sorry, another thing that's different is you have a new captain now, and Adam. Just uh, we talked to Josh last week. Uh, your thoughts on Adam being the next captain? Yeah, obviously, very, very happy for him. You know, Adam is a you know a guy I've been with through it all, lived with him for two years, way back in the day, and um, 
you know, grown up with them and, and have a lot, of, a lot of great memories with them. So I'm obviously very, very happy for him and, and know he's, uh, he's going to be a great, jo- great guy for the job and, um, you know, very excited for him. Is there ever any thought that that might be something you'd like to be the captain of the Winnipeg Jets? And do you think your contract situation may be factored into that? You know, I don't spend much much time thinking about it. You know, it's uh, you know that's out of my control. All I can do is what's in my in my control. And you know, like I said before, I'm very very happy for for Adam and and you know very excited for the season. I just wonder what Blake meant to you. If there's an example of something he did for you in your career that you can share. With. Everything, honestly. Like he was a he was a guy. Um, you know, him and Andrew Ladd, I'd say the two two guys that um, you know mentored me. You know, good days, bad days, helped me through a lot, and obviously played a lot of a lot of you know amazing games with Blake. He, you know. He, you know, he made me the player I am today. You know, helped me, helped me. You know, gave me a lot of backdoor tap-ins. You know, he was, you know, you know, he's one of the, he's, he is, he is the best passer I've ever played with. Um, you know, by a mile. Um, you know, so obviously he meant a lot to me and taught me a lot and mentored me a lot and, um, you know, will always be a close friend of mine. And um, so obviously, you know, lost a lot of good friends in this business. Uh, you know, but it's, it's, you know, it's the nature of the beast and. You just got to move on and continue to, to, to strive forward and and learn from the the lessons they taught they tell they teach you and and go from there. And to the that point, are worried about you know they, they've got your name on their jersey and you've been for so long. If they're worried this might be it for you. You know, it's it's not really in my control. You know, I, all I can do is I got, I got one year left and on my deal. Um, you know, I'm gonna give my my you know each and every you know each my my heart out every single game and. And you know that side of the business isn't you know isn't in my realm. It's you know for my, my representatives and for you know for the organization to deal with. And yeah, I'm just going to go and play hockey. Back to Blake. Is there something that he did uh, that you learned from him that overarchingly taught you how to personally elevate your game? You know, I think it, it's it's every day. You know, you I, I watched. You know, I saw every every bump, every bruise, every. Um, you know, every time he needed treatment from some for something, you know that guy was a was an absolute warrior. You know, I don't think you guys know half the things he he played through and what he you know what he did to get himself ready to, to play in a hockey game. He was a he was an absolute warrior and and you know put his best foot forward every single game. And you know, like I said before, one of the best passers I've ever seen. And you know, he was a guy that just every single day put his work boots on and, and went to work. And um, you know, good day, bad day, he was out there working his hardest. What area of your game are you hoping to improve on this season? Everything, you know, every every year is uh, you know a year to grow in, in every aspect of the game, and um, you know this is like no other. Looks Mark, like Gabe just... Gillardi's going to get the first crack at skating on your wing uh, in a position that Blake often was with you and Kyle. Just you know, it's early, but your thoughts on maybe the potential that the three of you have to, to form a line? Yeah, you know, it's exciting. He's a you know he's a great kid. Um, you know, loves the game, loves to talk the game. Um, you know, he's definitely got some jam to him. He's he's uh, he's got a knack for scoring, and obviously we played against him a couple times last year. And you know, he's a he's a fantastic player, and I'm excited to you know get into get into game form and 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 get to know each other and get to know each other's tendencies. And um, and you know, he's a he's a, he's an awesome kid, and you know, really excited to to get to know him a little more. Mark, what advice do you have, Cole, as he moves to center here, at least for training camp, and to try to start the season? You know, just take it in stride. You know, it's not going to come in one skate, two skates. It's, it, it comes in comes in time. And you know, me and Cole are are pretty close. So I'm sure there's going to be some conversations down the line about about things. And you know, he's a, he's an awesome kid. He works so hard. He had a you know, I spent a good amount of time with him in the summer. Um, you know, he you know changed trainers, worked worked with Matty Nickel, and you know, looks amazing on the ice. You know, put on a lot of you know a lot of muscle. You know, put in a lot of work this summer. And obviously, that's you know you know I, I gain a lot of respect for the kid for. You know, doing that, making some changes, and 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 learning, and trying to grow, and um, you know, I'm there to help them. You know, each and each and every step of the way. With your status and Connor's and, and Connor Hellebuck, you know, how big a year does this feel like for this organization as far as its future? You know, there's a lot of guy, a lot more guys in that same situation, so it's you know, it's out of my out of my hands. I'm just gonna go and play hockey, and I'm sure all those guys are gonna do the exact same. We're gonna go play hockey and try to win a Stanley Cup, and you know, that's the only focus on our mind.